20 kilometers along the coast here it was all lifted up in some places up five meters after the big earthquake in Christchurch oh right up on top up here somewhere the year can't remember job opening the road up and it's all blocked with multiple slips and such rugged beauty it's awesome I love it I think I'm in love and it's only going to get better on Motunau Beach Road for 14 kilometers. 14k and we'll be there. Left onto Hall Street, then slide left onto Sandy Bay Road. Take the next left onto Sandy Bay Road, then your destination will be on the left. Your destination is on the left. Yeah, all right, so here we are at Motanel Beach, down, down there. So we're going to go for a walk down the hill, see if we make it. And I've been told you're guaranteed to find fossils. So let's go have a look, see what we can find. Got about half an hour, 45 minutes to have a bit of a squiz before I've got to go to a shop in Christchurch. So, better get into it. Okay guys, come along, let's have a look, eh? So there's a nice little easy path down to the beach, which has been really cool. Let's see what we can find people out fishing. What a fantastic day! Down on the beach is just Rocks and rocks and rocks. So now let's go see if we can find something. Some little shells in there. Is 
this on down here so I'm not really sure what it is I'm looking for but we'll find something turn the camera on when we find something interesting so just down here we found this it's got a whole lot of little circles and things on it Keep looking. Lots of hag stones. Ah, down here there's some more shell fossils. Nothing spectacular as yet. I'll see if I can grab a picture of my mate Shrumpy found down here. Because that is pretty spectacular. No, we had a short time down on the beach at Mottenau. So so I had to be in Christchurch by a certain time, which restricted our time for looking. But we have found some, I think, some interesting fossils here. So this one here, and there's a, you can see the shell for the ribbings down in there. That's pretty cool. This bigger one here, you've got the, it's almost ready to pop out of the matrix here, the gastropod. This one here was quite interesting because of the, I suspect, I think it may be some sort of coral. I'll have to check up on that. Because there's a fair bit of it. Um, so I'll go in. We'll wet it and that's coming up quite cool. So there's a, found a few of these. Look at that one there, that's really cool. With all the little, don't know what that would be. But it's certainly pretty interesting. Trying to get my shadow out of the sunlight. <laughs> Got a hegstone. To, so yes, we've got a hagstone. There's another one there to hole right through. 
So as I understand it, these uh, holes are made by the shipworm borer shell mollusk goes in and just eats its way through. Thought that was just quite a neat looking piece. <coughs> and then we've got this big, bigger chunk here. I thought I might attempt to make this one into a bowl. See how that turns out. Different sort of stone to what we have up here, up in the North Island. Um, I think that could make a rather interesting bowl dished out. This one here, it's shining in the sun. Be the shell. Looking on the side here, you can see the the layers. Uh, probably some sort of mussel or oyster shell. You can see the little lines in there. So not a lot there, but while we were down the South Island, we were at the went to the Otago um, Rock and Mineral Club, and <coughs> we got some pieces of fossilised crab. So it's little little bits. I wouldn't know what they were if I'd seen them, but they told me that they were fossilised crab. Just bits of leg and stuff. Focus there. So I was hoping to find a a bigger crab. I got given some pieces from Mottenel from my mate Chase and his partner Heidi from down Mottenel. Okay, we'll go have a look in the garden. So down in my rock garden here. We've got this big piece here. I suspect there may be a crab in that lump. We've got... Initially I thought that these were balamites. But after being down in the South Island, what, what they have found down there are the stems of the sea lilies, so a form of crinoid. So that's now what I'm leaning towards for those. You can see a bit down in here as well. So I'll just yeah, find a way to prep that out. And watching Mem Lambo on. Um, YouTube of his prep work and for a starter you can use those little Dremel engravers don't know if I'd be keen to try <laughs> try a first time on something like that but that was from Mottin Nell as well nice chunk of stone that would have been a bit of a carry up from the beach to the car park Thank you, Chase, for doing it. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, one day we'll get in and we'll have a look and see what's inside. Yeah, also down there, where actually, I have got a crab fossil. So this one here is from Mottenau as well. 
So it's just the carapace. So a very beach warm example. So that's my only crab. I was hoping to find some more examples of this on our trip, but we didn't have time, so I guess we're going to have to make another trip down there and go have a look for some of these. Until then, I'll just keep looking at this one.